Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabree Church of Christ, our midweek lesson for March 24th, 2021. You know, we, we've been living in some unusual times with the coronavirus pandemic and with all of the unrest that's been going on in our country. And I thought today's message would be one that we should take a look at, something to think about. I've entitled it, Gratitude, The Way to Happiness. Let me ask you a question. Name one virtue that more than any other leads to happiness and why? Well, I believe the answer to that question is, I believe that gratitude leads to happiness. Ingratitude leads to darkness or separation from God or sinfulness. If you would, you could look in your Bibles from Romans chapter one, verses 18 through 23, and, and I will read it to you. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because that which is known about God is evident within them. For God made it evident to them for since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understand, understood through what has been made so that they are without excuse. For even though they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give thanks, but they became futile in their speculations and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the incorruptible God for an image in the form of corruptible man and of birds and of four-footed animals and crawling creatures. Romans chapter one, verses 18 through 23. Ingratitude is the first sin. Weakness, failing, lack of wisdom that leads to the rest. It is the tipping point where you trip into the rest. It is as if gratitude propels you towards God and a lack of gratitude, a lack of gratitude propels you away. It is the thing, the action or the lever, if you will, control that makes you move in one direction or another. Gratitude helps you deal properly with the good and the bad in life. In Philippians chapter four, verses 10 through 13, it says there, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned before, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak from want, for I have learned to be content in whatever circumstance I am. I know how to get along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity in any and every circumstance. I have learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me, Philippians chapter four, verses 10 through 13. Paul was content. He was happy. He was satisfied in every posterity and want. And you ask why? He was grateful for what God had provided in every circumstance. His happiness was based on his uh, closeness and confidence in God continually made possible by what? By his gratitude. Not how much he had or did not have. His happiness was not based on how well his life was going or how successful his ministry was. He was in prison when he wrote Philippians. His 
happiness was directly related to his personal relationship with God. And that relationship was a close one because Paul continually gave thanks for everything in his life, great, small, hard, or easy. He always gave thanks for what he had. So let us give thanks for this food, this day, this family, and everything else in our lives so that through grateful hearts, we may grow closer and closer to God who promises us eternal happiness and joy in Christ. Paul also says in Ephesians chapter five, verses 15 through 20, therefore be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of your time because the days are evil. So then do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God, even the Father. Brethren, we need to be happy with what we have. We need to have gratitude and realize that God deserves thanks in the good times, the bad times. We need to be appreciative of what we have. Just something to think about. Because I know that we have been through some pretty rough times over the last year. Some have suffered a lot. But be thankful. Be thankful for what we have. Be grateful. Have a good gratitude. And have a closer walk with God. Hope this helps a little bit. Gives us something to think about for the rest of the week. We're thankful that you tuned in. We want to remind you that we will be beginning our Sunday school classes again at the Seabury Church of Christ the first Sunday in April. Uh, and the time for that work of the Bible study classes will be 9.30 a.m. and be followed at 10.30 a.m. with our worship service. We would love to have you come and visit with us and worship God together. Would be great to have you there and hope that you will consider that. Also, would like to ask you to uh, give us a thumbs up on our lessons and be sure to share these with your friends and loved ones so that we might reach others for Christ. And as always, if the Seabury Church can be a help to you, if you think we can, we would love to do that if we possibly can. You can reach us at 270-823-2335. Again, thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a great rest of the week. Hope to see you at the Seabury Church of Christ Sunday morning at 1030. We'd love to have you there. Have a great rest of the week and may God bless you.